Welcome Taurus. Okay, I've just started your video and it's gone 11 11, so I'm a little bit excited about this, Taurus. Okay, so we are looking at what is going on for you and how it is we can help you at this time using <coughs> using <laughs> divine directions. Angels and ancestors oracle cards and also light seers tarot. Okay, let's get into it here, Taurus. Three cards for Taurus, please, from Divine Directions. We have Nature. <coughs> Two more cards for Taurus, please. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> they all just splattered on the floor. Whoops. Thank goodness we got your cards before that happened, eh? And we've got that one. Okay, so we've got Nature. Reconnect with Nature. Feel the sun on your skin. Walk barefoot on the grass. Yep, and this is going to help ground you as well, Taurus. And obviously, Taurus, being an earth sign, I think this will really help you because um, <clears throat> more than what you, I think you realize, it's going to help you connect in. And um, I think it's very important at this time because I feel like there's some sort of upgrade coming for you. Okay, so we have wait. Take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. Okay, so interesting. Skills. It's time to learn some new skills. Study a course or a new start a new hobby. Alrighty. <clears throat> cool, Leo. Let's get going here, Taurus. Okay, so first card for Taurus, please. From the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Card Deck. So, yeah, I just wonder if there's a different direction that you can go in right now. Um, and sometimes taking time out and going into nature can help you, you know, with taking the course of action that is best for you to really tap into what that could be. Okay, yeah, we've got Water Guardian come up here. That's interesting. Connect with your emotions. I just feel like I still need to carry on shuffling. And it's so interesting because the skies have just opened up here, opened up here, and it's pouring with rain quite heavily. And I just feel like, I don't know, there's some sort of shift. There's some sort of shift happening here for you. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay Taurus water guardian here connect with your emotions yeah I think it's really important for you to um, come out of your head and actually start feeling things um, and maybe this connecting with nature is going to help you with that okay um and I, I wonder if for some of you there has been some sort of disconnect in, in the sense of, of not really being um, connected with your mind, body and spirit. I feel like for some of you maybe you, there's, you know, sometimes we can be so engulfed by our thoughts and where that's taking us especially if we're involved, say, in a big project at work or <clears throat> we're in a relationship that needs a lot of attention. Um, and, yeah, I feel like there's this, a, a bit of a, a um, an imbalance here of, of being so much in the mind that it's kind of like there needs to be this embracing of the emotions so it, it, it's almost as though the mind needs a bit of a rest if you like and um yeah I really feel like this is quite important for you um and I really want to say to you here Taurus is to actually let your emotions start ruling um in the sense that if there's something that anything that you're thinking of okay in your life right now um, 
it could even be, do you know what? It could be as simple as going for a walk, right? Or planting your feet on the ground. Feel how it feels. Don't just think about doing it and think, oh, well, I'll stay here for five minutes and then think about everything that you could be doing while you're standing there. Okay, feel the feeling beneath your feet. If you're, say, doing the dishes, feel the feeling of the water on your hands. You know, like, actually start tapping into the feeling of things, okay? And um, and just start small if that's what you need to do. And, and yeah, start considering your emotions because this is part of you. You know, you have a whole emotional body here. And, um, and it may be, be that you need to really start considering what it is that you're feeling about things as opposed to what it is that you're just thinking about things, okay? Yeah, see, this is embracing, I feel like, this mind, body, and soul, bringing the three together, mind, body, and spirit, bringing the three together, right? And, um, and, and having them all work together in a way to create a beautiful masterpiece, okay? Because I feel like this is what is on the cards for you, is a masterpiece is getting created. And um, and it's kind of like you actually really working out what works and what doesn't, okay? So in order to do that, it's important for you to take all things into consideration. Yeah. And, you know, this is also... Being out in nature here, this is going to help you connect with um, Mother Earth here. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's going to help you connect um, with the, the, the tools that you need, okay, because it's going to help clear your energy. It's going to help clear that channel, and you're going to be a lot clearer on what it is that you need, okay, rather than striving to um, get the answers and if they're not coming you need to actually have this time to clear yourself in order for them to come through because it's kind of like you can't it's like packing a suitcase in a sense you can't fit more in unless you take more stuff out and um, things that are no longer needed you know you may have packed a suitcase for winter and now it's coming to summer or vice versa and you don't need those clothes anymore. You need to take them out and repack that suitcase. And I feel like this is what's happening for you. Okay. And this is going to help create whatever masterpiece it is that you are creating. Okay. And um, with the seven of pentacles here, you know, this is you growing something. This is something that has been growing here. And um, for some of you, you're at the beginning stages. Okay. And... Um, the thing is that it's important for you to know too um, that what is on the surface is not always what is going on underneath. I feel like this is indicative of um, emotions, okay, um, as well here. Yeah, okay. So, you know... It's kind of like you're bringing, you know, the thing is, Taurus, this could be you or it could actually be someone else around you. Because sometimes we bring out a little bit of emotions to be like, oh, yeah, I feel, you know, quite sad about that. But there's so much going on underneath. You know, there's devastation. There's feeling distraught. There's, you know, there's a lot of things connected to this one emotion that we can feel. And sometimes, you know, what we see on the surface is not anything compared to what is going on underneath. The other thing I want to say about this is that um, for some of you, this has been you working really, really hard on a project here. And um, and you're just wondering whether it's worth actually carrying on with it. Um, so I feel like this could very well be you needing to take this advice of going out into nature to wait and to, you know, learn some new skills. Um, if you've been focusing so much on one thing lately, you may need to go and start something new in order to give yourself a break from that one thing. Okay, Taurus. So we've got star ancestor. Follow the voice 
of your soul. Yes. Yes, Taurus, yes. Um, and see, this is you connecting into nature here will help you do that 100%. And also, you know, it, I, I kind of wonder for some of you if you don't feel like things are working and you're not quite sure why and you can't put your finger on it. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is, you know, coming under this card of weight here. And um, and I feel like this is you taking time out to really connect in with your ancestors, with your soul, okay? Um, because, you know, there are things that we definitely do carry through each generation, you know, and these are in the cells of our body. And um, so this connection that you make here, Taurus, is, I think, quite crucial for you. Okay, so tell me more about Star Ancestor, please. Thank you. Ah, okay, feeling shut out. Oh, okay, this is you. I, I actually feel like, for some of you, this could be your soul. Um, it, it, This is really you opening the door, uh, opening up. Yeah, Um quite interesting I just wonder if for some of you you're going to be opening up um and going out in nature is going to help you change your pers not your perspective it's going to help you change your stance and you're going to th see things differently so what's going to happen is you're going to look up See, this is sort of also you being locked up inside for so long and not getting out in nature and needing to look up and see that the light is there, the keys over here to the door. And, you know, it could have been, Taurus, that for so long you felt like there's no way out of a situation and you really don't know, you know, what else to do. But it's actually changing your stance on something and getting up and looking around and going, OK, you know, what, what can I do here? Um, and yeah, because whatever journey that you've been on for some of you, you've, it's actually beaten you down quite a lot and it can be very difficult to get up and carry on. But I want to say that you are, um, your soul is calling for this. Your soul is, is, yeah, I don't even know what to add to that <laughs> um yeah it's time now Taurus to stand up and and start following the direction of your soul rather than that direction of your mind okay and this is why it's important for you to let these emotions come forth because um you know to connect with your emotions because this is what your soul is telling you okay it, so you know it can sound sound very airy fairy and you're like I don't even know how to do that it really is as simple as connecting in with your emotions, okay? Um, and as you do that and practice that, you're going to allow your soul to come out and speak more in your emotions. Your heart will be what leads you, okay? Because this is this connection here. Okay, so we also have the two of wands here. So um, I kind of feel like this is this feeling of, there's a feeling of needing help, um, but I, I feel like the help that you feel that you need from outside of you is actually can be sought within you, okay? Um, this could also be you wondering which direction to go in, and I feel as though all you ne really need to do right now, Taurus, is to stand up, to stand up and sort of do a 360 degree turn in a sense, a bit like in here. Imagine her standing up, doing a 360 degree turn, and then she'll see which direction to go on. It's gonna be it's it's sort of like it's gonna be clear as day. It's gonna be so clear you can't miss it. Um, it's just a matter of you having to change this position. Okay. Okay, so now we have the she wolf. Unleash the wild within. Wow. Wow. There's something hidden inside of you that I feel like you, 
it's sort of like it's trying to come out and there's the sense of it being pushed down all the time and not being able to be released. So whether it's you pushing it down um, or someone else, other people restricting you, it could even be at work that you're quite restricted from using your talents and that's what you want to do. Okay, um, yeah. And, and also starting a new course or a new hobby, this also will help you explore new things so you can start to discover oh yeah I really enjoyed doing that didn't enjoy doing this so much but this over here was amazing you know um so yeah give yourself that opportunity to get out and start exploring yourself more Taurus okay because for so long you've been <sighs> shut away I feel for some of you but We've got the star here. Yes, I love that. Got the star with the moon here. With the she-wolf. <laughs> love it. Okay. Okay, there's three cards jump out here. But I'm taking them because I love the way they jumped out. Okay, so we've got the star here for you. This is, you know, this is you really renewing things. Um, And, and this is also, this is... You know, the spiritual thing, right? This could be you starting your spiritual journey here. Okay. Um, the other thing, it could be that for some of you, you've been in the dark night of a soul. And um, and now it's time, you know, it, you're starting to come out of that. Okay. And just deciding which direction to go in. That's a possibility for some of you as well. Here, I, look at this. This is, you know, getting the people around you. This is you coming towards your, your people, right? Here's the stars in the sky again, right? This is you connecting in. And the other thing I want to just point out here is we have the stars here too, right? With the, the um, star ancestor. So something's going on here, Taurus. Something really big is going on here. Um, and yeah. I actually feel like you are on the path of a significant, oh, I don't want to say upgrade, because that's kind of like saying that you weren't that great. <laughs> but it's it, it, there is this leveling up spiritually. I also wonder if for some of you there's this um, native Indian connection um, as well for you. Potentially a past life. Mm. But you know what I feel like here Taurus is this is you stepping into your own this is you bringing your true self out. You know, no no apologies. Authentically you. After, you know, actually kind of been going in one direction for so long, you're now diverting and going, do you know what? That is not who I am. That person there is not me. This here is me. And actually discovering that, discovering who that is, right? And this Queen of Wands here, like, she has the fire within her. You know, she knows. The Queen of Wands has got to the point where she has the fire. She's gone through all the stages of learning how to use the fire for good. She's made some mistakes. She's got burned along the way. You know, and it's not been an easy journey. But now she's at this point of knowing that she can light all these little fires here and use them to lead the way. To light the path because it's within her she doesn't even need to actually really carry anything other than what is within her and this is absolutely beautiful i love this taurus because this is a reflection of you okay so let's have a look here <clears throat> next card for taurus please okay Magic Guardian. Wow. Unlock the magic within. Oh, and we've got Warrior underneath. This is powerful, man. These energies, 
seriously, Taurus, like you are something else. I'm not surprised this reading was started at 11.11 now. Like, look at this here. Unlock the magic within you. Yes, this is everything we've been talking about here, right? Um, but I, I also feel like it's a matter of you embracing it. You know, actually really accepting that you are this powerful person. You know, and powerful in a really humble yet beautiful way. You know, we have the six of ones here. Yep, yeah, celebrate yourself. Celebrate who you are. You know, um, and yeah, I, I love this. I adore this for you. Okay, so we've got two other cards fall out here. Um, so, oh, sorry, we've got the Six of Wands here. Yeah, this is you standing in the spotlight. Not, not um, you, you know, you don't have to do this literally, unless, of course, you're in that um, vibe. But, you know, this is you really seeing yourself as the success that you are, giving yourself this boost. You know, not, not keeping yourself down here, going and standing up and going into the spotlight and going, yeah, here I am. Here I am, world. This is me, and I'm proud of me, you know. Um, and we have the sun here. Look at this. So you've got the star here, and you've got the sun. This is absolutely incredible for you. You know, this is lots of positivity, success. You know, these cards here, to have these two, wow, wow, we. And we also have the page of wands here. And I love this because, you know, this is <clears throat> this new... Again, you know, this could be you learning a new hobby or a new skill. This could be you, you really stepping into something that you've always, always wanted to do and actually giving yourself permission to go and do it now, to go and learn this new thing, you know, um, and start to actually lead your way through your life as your authentic self rather than what other people want you to be or what you feel you should be, okay, and we have the warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Amen to that. Be fearless and stand strong. Tihe Moldiota. You do that, Taurus, because this is what you deserve. Okay, so I love that that's come up. Tell me more about warrior, please. Tell me more about warrior. You know, wear your wear your heart out there. Put your put your mana out there to be seen. Don't hide it away anymore. You know, the spirit within you allow that to come out for others to see, and that will lead the way. You won't have to do anything else. They'll just see you doing that, Taurus, and they'll follow because they'll be like, "Whoa, check Taurus out. I want what they've got." And yeah. <clears throat> yeah, see, this is this learning, studying, exploring new avenues, turning all the light bulbs on in your life so that they, they can lead the way, you know. I love this because, like, she's studying here. She's also learning to walk the tightrope and she's learning to hold these, you know, this is really exploring these new skills <clears throat> and seeing what works for you here. Okay, one more card for Warrior, please. And also... Taurus not being afraid to fail, not being afraid that, oh, well, if that doesn't work, I can try something else, you know. So, yeah, we've got the four of wands as well. I love this celebration. <laughs> it's sort of like walking towards the circus. All right, I'm going to try out for the circus and I'm going to walk towards the circus because I've found my new skill. <laughs> Here's my new talent, right? Just need to clear my throat here, Taurus. And, you know, also, Taurus, this is a celebration of your success. This is you, you know, getting to where you want to be. And this could be in your family life even. Okay, um, so, but, you know, I just feel like this, again, is letting out this she-wolf wolf within. No bars hold, held, you know, actually just going forward and being your authentic self. Okay, so next card for Taurus, please. One more card from this deck for Taurus, please. I love this, though, Taurus. This is incredible for you. It didn't fall out the way I wanted it to. So, Taurus, 
One more card, Taurus. Yep, here it is. Okay, Sage. Look at this. Beautiful. Be devoted and committed. Wow, look at that energy. Look at his energy, isn't it? Oh, wow, I love that. Be devoted and committed to yourself, to bringing this energy out, because this, I feel like this is you. This is your energy here, Taurus, you know? And um, and this is you absolutely writing your story <sighs> so that it's imprinted in the earth. This is you walking your footsteps that will remain on the earth. This is you making a mark. Because this is what this path will bring to you. Because this is this is who you are. You know, this is the power that you have. This is this internal light that, that needs to be shone in order to lead the way for others. You're paving the way here, Taurus. You are paving the way. Because that's what is set in the stars for you to do. Okay. Yeah. You know, people who, who have to rest in the nest have not had it easy. And they've, they've lived a life that they've lived because they are the warriors. They are the ones who have come to battle, to pave the way. And it's an internal battle. And sometimes it feels like an external battle. That you're going through the thorns and you're getting cut up but you still keep chopping away you keep chopping away at the path so until you get to a clearing you know and you know this is you bringing in the light and the dark and, and mixing those you know this is you shining the light upon the dark so that it's clearer for those who follow you Yeah, this is absolutely like 100% such an incredible energy to have. And um, yeah, I bow to you. I bow to you because, wow, wow. Um, so yes, Taurus, get out of nature, okay? Take your time to think about things, okay? Don't rush. And... Go and try out some new skills, some new hobbies to see what works for you to start bringing out this light within, okay, so that you can lead the way and, and live your authentic life that you came here to live. Okay, Taurus, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.